transgression. Before attempting to locate and confront the holder of transgression, it is vital that you have acquired the eye and the handcuffs. Your life is forfeit should you neglect to bring these objects with you. Although not required, having the coin will make the discovery of the holder's location a less burdening task. The holder of transgression can be found amongst any group of wild animals that are held against their will, in groups of six or more. For this reason, it is best to make your way to any zoo you happen to find. If you are fortunate enough to have the coin in your possession, locate the lions and request to speak to the elder lioness. When she approaches you, simply say, I am the seeker. I demand the location of the holder of transgression. Do not be forceful with your words, for lions are proud creatures, and she may simply turn away and not respond. If she accepts your request, the lioness will open her mouth in a great piercing roar. Your ears may begin to bleed, but do not attempt to cover them, for within her roar, she will tell you the species in which the holder of transgression inhabits. Locate this animal and continue your task. If you do not have the coin, you are left to simply wander about the animals until you find a group of six of the same species, huddled together in a circle, all facing inward. They do not always keep this circle, and it is difficult to know when the circle will form. Once you have located the correct animal, continue your task. Approach the circle of animals and, using the eye, look directly in the center of the circle. You will see a seventh animal, quite larger than the others, sleeping. That animal is the holder of transgression. Once you have identified the holder, take the handcuffs in hand and hold them in front of you. The handcuffs will begin to heat up in your hands and it will feel as you are holding hot coals. Do not release the handcuffs. Despite the smell of burning flesh and the sight of your hands in flames, the handcuffs will keep the holder at bay and is the only object that can keep you alive. The holder will sense the handcuffs and awaken from its slumber. It will be angry and anxious to kill you for bringing this object before him. As the holder of transgression writhes in his prison, growling and salivating at the sight of seeker flesh, keep the handcuffs in front of you and ask him this one question. How does one defy the law? The holder of transgressions growling and gnashing will turn to crying and whimpering as it cowers and remembers the day it violated the law. Soon lacerations will begin appearing on its flesh and burning flames will pour from the holder's body instead of blood. He will eventually be consumed in the flames and reduced to ash. Remain silent and standing still holding the handcuffs before you until the circle of animals break. For when this happens, a great wind will extinguish the flames on your hands and carry the ash of the holder of transgression to you and it will bind itself to the handcuffs, coating them in a fine white ash. Your hands will remain scarred by the handcuffs, but you will no longer feel pain. The Ashes of the Holder of Transgression is Object 527 of 538. The binding of two will seal another.